everyone, and welcome back to City Week. I'm your host, Jeremy Andrews, filling in for Alton West. And uh, today, I have Miss Natalie Hale with me. She is the Executive Director of the Friends of the Thread, and she is here to fill us in on all the happenings that are going on with the Thread, what segments are open, what segments are on the way. Um, thank you for being here, Miss Natalie. Well, we appreciate it. thank you for it. inviting me. Absolutely. So, Miss Natalie, can you kind of uh, walk us through how you got involved with the Thread, how you became the Executive Director, and kind of what some of your duties are in that role? Yes, it's almost three years ago I was approached um, by Friends of the Thread Board mm -hmm. that I should apply for this job as um, executive director just because I was, um, I'm a, was a local builder mm -hmm. and I like to exercise and mm -hmm. I have a um, real estate background. Mm -hmm. And so I did and I got the job and I've been in the position for three years now. Wonderful. So my day-to-day -day activities, my office is here in City Hall, mm -hmm. and I work closely with the contractor, work mm -hmm. with the city, mm -hmm. I work with, uh, with my board, and coordinate construction. Awesome. So I know that we started out with Model Mile, right? Yes. Can you kind of walk me through the first couple of phases that have been open and that are in use now? Yes. The Model Mile at Granger Park opened in July of 2017, mm -hmm. and we opened Phase 2 in April of 2018. Okay. Phase three of LaGrange College opened earlier this year mm -hmm. and now we're just about to ribbon cut phase four which is out Country Club Road to Hollis Hand mm -hmm. um, next Thursday September 26 at 10 a.m. Okay, very cool. Um, and we also are under construction. I don't, many people might not know right now we're on phase five is currently in the works mm -hmm. and is being poured in its connecting Calumet Park to Twin Cedars. Awesome, very cool. Yeah. So, uh, talk to us a little more about um, the the country club segment that's about to open. I know that that's been a labor of love, and mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, we're getting ready to kick that off in conjunction with the new um, the road that's opened up there through the country. Yes, through. I will say I'm very happy to see this project that segment finished. Sure. And pe that is a um, very busy area, and the road project was quite a large job. Mm -hmm. And so that one that stretch is 1.6 miles. Right. So it starts at the roundabout at Broad Street and heads out. Mm -hmm. Country Club down into a beautiful green way portion right. that we have our first top-down boardwalk in that section and it crosses the creek twice. It's lovely mm -hmm. and it ends at Hollis Hand currently. So we're okay. very happy to have that part open. So phase five, it's coming very soon. Phase five, five yep. is here now. It's, here now. They should be finished. Wrap, they're wrapping that up at a very rapid pace. Mm -hmm. I would think they'll be finished with that in the next three to four weeks. I don't know if we'll plan a ribbon cutting just sure. for that because it's such smaller a smaller segment. It's a very small segment. It's only five tenths of half mile. Mm -hmm. So it's it also has a very lovely greenway in it. It's okay. going to be really pretty, very scenic. Can you remind our viewers about how many segments that the thread is supposed to end up being and also what kind of impact you think that's going to have on the community? Yeah, we don't total segments. It was it's 29 miles, mm -hmm. and we've changed the segment length. So the the segment number, we really don't know how many we'll have. Probably in the 20s, but because um, we've combined segments and eliminated segments, so it'll it's a total of 29 miles planned. Mm -hmm. And we are um, the project was a 10-year project. We're one three mile, three years into the project almost, and we're um, six and a half miles into the project. So Great. completed counting country club is six and a half miles. So. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Good. Does that put you above or on schedule, behind schedule? We're a little it? ahead of schedule, so oh, that's okay. it's great. We like I like to work fast, and our contractor we've had up so far this to mm -hmm. this phase, he's a speedy worker, and he sure. loves project, progress, and we have progressed nicely. Wonderful. Yeah. So I know in the planning stages of the thread that you and I have talked about some of the different areas that you've gone to that have a thread trail type segment that runs through their community. What do you think that having something like that, what kind of asset does that provide to LaGrange? Oh, it's great. It draws people, it draws the neighbors out. Everybody, it's, it's a very community building amenity we have here in LaGrange. Mm -hmm. Like I walk Granger all the time, mm -hmm. walk Country Club, and I see people I have never met in my life, and now, I'm, now I know them because we walk yeah. at similar times. So it's really bringing our community together, mm -hmm. getting everybody healthy, yep. and it's awesome. It's also bringing people here from out of town. I've met numerous people on our trail mm -hmm. that have just driven to LaGrange and are staying at the Marriott downtown mm -hmm. and walk, because we have brochures there and have discovered it, and they, they love it. So yep. it's, a, it's an awesome amenity for our town. Yeah, you know, with the, with the new hotel and the amphitheater, I, I'm sure that it gets a lot of use. and. Um, 
So I know that there's been a couple of different um, programs that have actually popped up along the thread. I know there was a doctor here in town that was doing some yes. stuff. Can you talk to us about some of the extracurricular activities you've seen out there? Yes, we've had, um, we actually had pop-up exercise classes. So different oh. exercise um, places around town organized pop-up classes on Saturday. So we did that for two months and we, they were very well attended. Mm -hmm. We'll start that, that back up. And then we had um, the walk with Dr. Emory, yes. and the Emory cardiologist, mm -hmm. um, Dr. McFarlane. Yep. She started this walk with the doctor program, which mm -hmm. was great. And now some of those people I now see have, have, mer have bonded and are walking without her now. So they've like, got people mm -hmm. out that didn't know each other before. And now they meet up on the trail and they mm -hmm. walk. So it's, it's really Very awesome. Cool. Very cool. So I know that there's a couple of, um, of rules regarding the thread. Can you remind the viewers there's no motorized vehicles, no, things like that? No motorized vehicles, no skate, no, no motorized um, hoverboards, no scooters, mm -hmm. no, um, what are those new things? Um, I don't even know what they're called. There's the, the hoverboards? Yeah, yeah, the hoverboards. Um, anyways, we do, the only electric thing allowed is an electric wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And we have had electric, electric wheelchairs out there, so it's been, yeah. it's, it's a nice way to be able to get out and use it because mm -hmm. there's really nowhere else wheelchairs are large and so sidewalks don't do not accommodate them very yeah. well so okay. it's been nice to see them out there so speak a little bit about um so i know that we've seen a lot of people out here using the thread um you know one big thing in the community is uh one of the keywords you always hear is millennials right right and millennials uh almost require something like this, you know, in some of the areas that they live in. Have you seen a big impact on this as far as the younger people go? I have. The younger people really love it. I've actually met two different millennial families that moved here mm -hmm. specifically because really? we had the thread. Mm -hmm. right, cool. Moved here, they just heard that we had a brewery, we had the amphitheater and the trail system, and mm -hmm. that was those were their key criteria. They put in the computer and they searched and they found LaGrange. Really? Two different families. So it's it's really awesome. The millennials love it, mm -hmm. um, as do most people, because it's yeah. it's a free amenity. It's for everyone to enjoy, mm -hmm. and where I mean, where kids can learn to ride bikes on the thread. Yeah. You know, bicycles are really not allowed on the sidewalk, so it's it's a great amenity. Absolutely. Um, so as we start winding down here, Miss Natalie, we'll just ask you a, a couple of other quick questions. Um, so as far as uh, the thread goes. Um, what does being involved with this uh, for you on a personal level and, and getting to be uh, a person that is bringing this and really making our community one of the strongest communities in the state of Georgia, what does that mean for you? Oh, it's really, it kind of boosts my ego a little bit. It doesn't, sure. I don't need to, I don't mean to say it like that, but yeah. it's, I, I take pride in it because it's, it's the most awesome thing I see in LaGrange. Like yeah. I think the thread can help so many people and it's just helping our community. It's, I'm just pleased to be a part of it. It's really an honor. Yeah, yeah, I will agree. I think it's very cool and, and being a part of all the different ribbon cuttings and everything and getting to get out there and walk the dogs. Um, you know, I think it's really one of those things that's going to continue to take LaGrange's community and build us. Uh, you know, I mean, we're an hour south of Atlanta, but, you know, we're really starting to compete. So We really are. Mm -hmm. It is really, it's, Absolutely. it's a game changer for LaGrange. Absolutely. So uh, real quick before we get off the air, Natalie, uh, remind our viewers one more time if they want to come out to the ribbon cutting next week, where can they find that? The ribbon cutting will be at the Boardwalk on Country Club at 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 26th. Awesome. And anybody's welcome to come on anybody's out? Anybody's welcome to come, any and all. Awesome. All right. Well, Miss Natalie, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, we really appreciate your time, and uh, I think that's going to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.